rate of change mean how the quantity changes with respect to time that is called the rate of change like acceleration you know acceleration rate of change of velocity that means the how velocity changes with respect to the time but you know the was the mean of the gradient now we coming to gradient okay so gradient we are coming gradient mean how that quantity how any quantity changes with respect to the space with respect to distance if it is a linear linear now let uh, we consider a room in which there is a temperature and temperature may be written with phi or t and you know temperature is a function of uh, x y z let temperature is changing in the space so it become a function of the space parameters that's x y z and let we assume that uh, temperature is not changing with respect to time let that okay and each point in the room now each point in the room the gradient at that point will show the direction in which the temperature rises more quickly okay mean the physical meaning of the gradient is how in which direction there is more change in temperature in which direction the temperature changes more and magnitude tells us the, how fast the temperature rises in that direction okay now let uh, what we mean by a scalar field now temperature you know temperature is a function of x y z temperature is a scalar field and it's a is a function of x y z in a space so let that uh, the temperature is a uh, is uh, defined as 9 exponential minus r square mean the temperature is changing exponentially as we are moving away and away from the source of heat that t falls falls down t is decreasing exponentially and uh, okay r vector is i cap x plus j cap i plus k cap z so with increasing r the temperature falls exponentially so t is equals to 9 e raised to power what is you know like r magnitude r magnitude x square plus y square plus z square root and then whole raised to power 2 the 2 1 by 2 and 2 cancels out so del t becomes del t is called gradient of the scalar function del operator is a space operator and then t is a scalar field so this is gradient of a scalar field mean way to find how the scalar field is varying with respect to space okay now this is you know del operator then uh, we are having uh, temperature function so you know splitting the partial derivative curly by curly x then curly by curly y partial derivative with respect to y so partial derivative with respect to z okay now differentiating partial derivative mean minus x squared becomes minus 2x and keep in mind 9 is there and I forget the 9 writing 9 here 9 it is coming in multiplication with each term okay so you please uh, find that 9 it is in multiplication so the result becomes this is a you know this is a gradient of a scalar field and 9 is common because I forget above but I written here and uh, then taken common 2 into e raised to power minus x square plus y square plus z square and inside the bracket we left this you know r vector i cap x plus j cap i plus k cap z now actually uh, when we find delta t 
by computer calculation because uh, gradient of a scalar field though you know the result which is a result is a function of x y z so substituting x y z we got the value of uh, uh, delta t at the different points and we shown that the value by the arrow length of the arrow shows the direction like like if this is an arrow and this is direction that mean along this side there is a more increase in the value more increase in the gradient gradient of a scalar field there is a more increase along this side I mean with respect to with respect to space there is a more increase uh, when we are approaching the when we are approaching the source as we are approaching the source there be, there is more increase okay when you are away that uh, that increases less change in the temperature variation in temperature it is less when you are away but when you approach the uh, when you are approaching the source uh, it becomes more increase okay with respect to space more increase with respect to space that's the meaning of the gradient of the scalar field so here note down the, this is a length of the arrow this is length of the arrow so they are approaching to the source and moreover here it is less length here it is more so the change in temperature with respect to space it is more here as compared to the away as compared to far away so okay this is the meaning of the gradient of the scalar field Thank you.